Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels Quick Tip. And today we're going to take a look at another new feature that was just dropped into my account. And it's a way to be able to preview what your courses are going to look like before you ever start building them. And there's a couple different ways we can get into it, but let me show you one thing first. And um, in my account here in this particular workspace, I have, it looks like seven different themes uh, in this in, in this particular workspace and this was before I knew better than to add seven themes into a workspace now generally speaking I add in one maybe two at the very most and so I have seven of them in here and so you're saying to yourself okay which theme do I use what is it going to look like I'm very confused well ClickFunnels has straightened that out for you because now what you can do and there's two different ways to get in here but now what you can do is go in and see a preview based upon the different themes, not only your own themes, but themes you can actually pull up from the marketplace as well. So one of the ways you can get in here to see this is you can click on the gear here next to an existing course. So let me just show you that real quick, how we can come in. We would just click on that, we would come down here and we would click on change theme. Now that's one way to get in there. Or if you're creating a brand new course, you can say, we're going to create our course right here. We're going to come in. We're just going to give it a quick name. Oh, wait, we got to choose first. I'm just going to choose custom. You, you could choose drip or simple. And we're just going to call this test. We'll just call it test course. You can put in description if you want. And then we are going to go to our next step. Now here we have our course theme again. And so same thing down here. We're going to click on change theme. Just like when we clicked on the gear over here, we are going to click on change theme. So we're going to do that right there. And you're going to see, let me pull myself out of the way here. Uh, we got the marketplace themes right here. So they're giving you right now, as of what is this today, April 18th of 2024, we have eight different marketplace themes in here. I suspect more will be coming with time. And then, of course, you have over here my themes, which should be the seven themes that I already have loaded up into this work into this workspace. So let's go back to our marketplace themes. And we'll let's give that a second for all the previews to pop up. So let's just say we want this uh, purple one down here just because it's got the most color, easiest to see on the screen. So we're going to click on preview. So once we click on preview, now again, got to get myself out of the way. Uh, we land on what is, we got our template pages here. So we're landing on our course lesson template page. And it's showing us what this looks like. So let's actually go back out to the course homepage because how it would normally work in a course is you're going to go from the login page to the customer center page, then to the course homepage, modules, and lessons in that order. Those five steps is generally speaking how most of the courses are built and that's generally the steps that the consumer will go through as well. So we're going to go here to our course homepage after having come from the customer center page. And we're going to say here, it says jump into a module down below. So this here is a module collection, a collection of modules. So on the course or on the customer center page, you would have your collection of all your courses. Here on your course homepage, you're going to have a collection of modules showing all the modules within a particular course. So that's what this page would look like. And then from there, you would click on one of these boxes. You would go to your course modules. And on your course modules page, it will give you a collection of all the lessons then that you can go to. So this is your collection of lessons, as well as in both cases so far, we also had a sidebar on here. And then we can go down to the lesson level itself. And on the lesson level itself, it of course will be pulling in the content that you created in the lesson by putting in the dyna dynamic slot, dynamic content box, whatever they're calling it now, um, th that will be pulled in from the lesson. Now, the cool thing about this is not only can we bounce back out of here and grab a different theme if we want. So let's say we come out and let it load back up here. It always takes a few seconds for that. Let's just say we want to go to this one right here now. And we can come in here, and if at any time we say, okay, yeah, this is definitely the one I want, you click on install, boom, it installs it as the theme for your course. But also down here at the bottom, we can open this up, and we can say, okay, what style do we want applied to this? So let's say we want the FBC style guide applied to this, 
and it will do that and it will change all of the colors. So now let's go, we want the uh, CFC funnel hub style and we're going to go boom, there it is. And then we can just keep going down. I got just a ton of styles in this account because it's an account where I used to test a lot of different stuff. And so you can just go through each one. You can go back out again. And let's go back to that purple one just to see how that looks with different styles applied to it. So this was our creator theme right here. So now we'll come down to the bottom. We will say FBC style guide version of this. So now it's all blue. And then let's go back up to, um, let's go here to CFC funnel hub style. Let's see how this one is. Okay, we're back more into the purplish colors. Uh, the demo style guide. Boom, there you go, a little bit different. And so then also you can check in here what's it going to look like on your mobile device as well. So that's a cool new feature that they just added into ClickFunnels, and there's many, many more features coming very soon. So if you got any questions, just let me know.